Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. Okay, so this question belongs to GATE CSC 2012. The given question is consider the following relation A, B and C. How many tuples does the result of the following? Okay, so they are, they give a particular relation of algebra query. Okay, yes. So, let me rewrite this question properly guys. So, A union B with the natural joint a dot id is greater than 40 or c dot id is less than 15 and we are performing cartesian bracket in between a union b and c right so that's the exact query right yes okay i'm really sorry for these type of printing things guys okay and i think this is a continuation question there is part two also for this particular question Okay, this for the we need to run this a particular query. Okay, yes, I think let let us try this first, right? After that, let us try this. Okay, yes. So let us try with SQL because we like SQL the most, right? Yes. Okay. So when we are working with this particular thing, okay. So first we are trying to perform select a dot id. So we want to get this ids as the result from the table a where a dot h should be greater than all okay so now let us find this particular result first so what here we are doing select b dot h from table b where b dot name equal to arjun okay so to be clear there is no arjun in this particular table right so or is there any arjun in this particular table the answer is no right so there is no a no arjun in that particular table okay so now what we will do okay so we will check here there is no origin. So basically this will result in an empty set, right? So there will be nothing in this. So it will be fi. Okay. So now we are trying to check these ages, whether they are greater than this phi. So indirectly here phi means indirectly it is zero, right? Yes. So now we are going to check whether this age is greater than phi or not. So is the first person age greater than five? Is 60 greater than zero? Yes. Is 24 greater than zero? Yes. Is 11 greater than zero? Yes. So the end result will be how many entries guys? Three. So B is the correct answer. So I think this SQL query was really easy, right? Yes. So now moving on to this query. Okay. So when I observed this query, so this query is a bit different query, right? So here first we are performing a union guys. And this is based on relational algebra. So there is no chance of duplicates here, right? Yes. So let us perform union. So the union result, where shall I write guys? So I will write that union result here. Okay. So I think 12 Arjun 60 is not available in this. So I think it will be added. 12 Ar Arun, sorry, Arun 60. And 15 Shreya 24 is available. 99 Rohit 11 is available. So basically now this table is nothing but A union B. So now I need to perform A union B and I want to do Cartesian product with the C. Okay. And I wanted to check in this particular A table, I wanted to take only people who are having greater than 40. So I'm not going to select this. I'm not going to select this. ID should be greater than 40. So only, okay. So I'm not going to select this guy also. So indirectly I will end up with only two people. Okay. And similarly, I want C dot ID should be lesser than 15. So here I am going to get only one entry. So this entry is also not allowed. Okay. So now I want to perform a Cartesian product in between these two. Okay. So if I try to perform a Cartesian product in between these two, how many entries do I get guys? Okay. So now if we perform Cartesian product, we are going to get only two entries, right? Okay. So there is no two option in the question. Okay. So am I doing in the reverse way? So basically, do we need to do first this Cartesian, sorry, this uh, Cartesian product or that uh, joint and then let's, we should check condition. So is that so? Okay, so let us uh, try in that way also, right? Yes. So if I want to do that first, uh, so what I should do, guys? Uh, so I need to perform the Cartesian product in between this thing and this thing first, right? Yes. So what is the common thing in between these two things? Uh? So ID is the only common thing, right? Okay, so ID is also not the common thing. Okay, yes. So if I perform Cartesian product in between these two, Okay, so let us write down the result below guys. Okay, okay, so let us start. So ID, name, age, ID with respect to C, this is with respect to, sorry, B dot ID and C dot ID. Okay, and then we are having a phone, then we are having area. Okay, so I think we should first do this Cartesian bread and then we should check the conditions guys. Okay, yes. So for this, the ID is 15, 25, 98 99 12 similarly 15 25 98 99 12 so this will be uh, shreya hari 
ರೋಹಿತ್ ರೋಹಿತ್ ಅರುಣ್ ಶ್ರೇಯ ಹರಿ ರೋಹಿತ್ ರೋಹಿತ್ ಅರುಣ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ಏಜ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಇಲೆವೆನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಓ ಮೈ ಗಾಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಇಲೆವೆನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಸೊ ನಾವು ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಸಿ ಐ ಡಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಟೆನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟು ಟು ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟು ಟು ಡಬಲ್ ಜೀರೋ ಜೀರೋ ಟು ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಬಿಲೋ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ನೈಂಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಡಬಲ್ ಜೀರೋ ಜೀರೋ ಒನ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ನೌ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮಿಂಗ್ ಕಟೀಷನ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಬಬಲಿ ದಿಸ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ನೌ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಚೆಕ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ನೌ ಐ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟಡ್ ಗೈಸ್ ಸೊ ದ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ ವಿಚ್ ಐ ಡಿಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಆರ್ ಆಪರೇಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಪರೇಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ವೇ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೇ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೊ ಎನಿ ವೇ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಗೈಸ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಲೈಕ್ ವೈ ಐ ಶುಡ್ ಡೂ ದಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಎಸ್ ಸೊ ಎನಿ ವೇ ಆಲ್ ಬಿ ಶೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಯು ದಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಡೋಂಟ್ ವರಿ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ನೌ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಆರ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಸೊ ಐದರ್ ಐ ಡಿ ಇಸ್ ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ದನ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಆರ್ ಐ ಡಿ ಇಸ್ ಲೆಸ್ ದನ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಸೊ ಫಾರ್ ಹೂಮ್ ಹೂಮ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ಗೈಸ್ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಟೂ ಗೈಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಕಮ್ಮಿಂಗ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಚೆಕ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವಿತ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ಐ ಡಿ ಅಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಚೆಕ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ಸಿ ಐ ಡಿ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಐ ಡಿ ಹೂ ಹೂ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಗೈಸ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಸೊ ಇಂಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಫೋರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಐ ಡಿ ಟೆನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೀಸ್ ಟೂ ಪೀಪಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಬೇಸಿಕಲಿ ದೀಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೀಸ್ ಟೂ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಂಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಎ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಎಂಟ್ರೀಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ ಮಿ ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಅಪ್ರೋಚ್ ಗೈಸ ಸೊ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಅಪ್ರೋಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಗೈಸ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ರೀಸನ್ ವೈ ಐ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಚೆಕ್ ದೀಸ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಸೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಎ ಡಾಟ್ ಐ ಡಿ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಟೂ ಎಂಟ್ರೀಸ್ which follow that right yes and if i assume this symbol as and there is only this one particular guy which follows it so basically when we are performing with respect to and operation we are going to get two entries only right yes okay okay yeah when we are performing with and operation we are going to get only two entries but here it is an or operation so indirectly in one case i will take only this people and in the other case i will take only this condition right or means okay so if or is there so i will take this particular thing as a true so if this is a true means this might be false right so here i will not apply any condition so here i am having two entries will be the result so basically the only i am checking first condition so a is greater than 40 and i am mapping with this so if a is greater than 40 i get two entries so 2 into 2 i get four entries here okay if i assume this as a true and this i will skip it so now this is a two entries okay so from these two entries who will follow this less than 10 guys so only this first person so now this all five people are there right so 1 2 3 4 and 5 so this one with five cartesian product will be how much guys will be 5 and among these are 9 2 are common right yes so 2 will be common so if we subtract that 2 we are going to get 7 as the result so 7 is the correct answer got it yes so this so this is and so i calculated and right so that is the reason why i calculated and so this is nothing but the common one so we have to eliminate we have to subtract them got it yes so anyway you solve it guys so using table or using that okay yes so now you understood right how i confused there and after understanding with the table i analyzed it right yes okay so i hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this sir. so in the next lecture let us continue with the next question okay yes so i hope everyone got a clear idea so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching like share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this thank you